Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got another product from RL Soco off of Amazon. This is their leather holster. Pretty good, affordable leather holster. Let's take a look at it. So this leather holster is made by RL Soco. I'll put a link in the description there for you. You can get this off of Amazon. And that's pretty much all it comes with. It comes in a plastic bag with this tag on it. And let's just go over some of the features here. So you can see that it's got some really nice, good stitching on it all the way around and around in the bottom. Except I guess right there, we've got a little bit of a cut into the leather there. I'm not sure if that's going to cause a problem now, but maybe in the long term it will. What you're gonna to have to do is maybe singe that down or maybe glue it. But right now we're gonna test it as is, take a look at it like I received it. Here you've got a nice little strap that goes around the front and the sides. One thing I notice is that these edges are a little bit kind of, I don't wanna say sharp, but they, they don't feel too good. So on the back side here, if you do inside the waistband carry, that's probably going to dig in a little bit and maybe hurt. But if you're like me, you wear an undershirt and usually you're good and you're, you don't have any problems. Comes with this high sweat guard here to protect you from the gun when you're sweating. And so basically this little holster would fit a lot of the micro carry guns from Glock or Smith & Wesson. Or in this case, I have my six hour P365 pistol. So that fits in there pretty good and smooth. You know it's not going to uh, damage your gun. And it uh, has a little bit of retention, except it does come out if you hold it completely upside down. Actually, that time it, it holds. Do a little bit of a shake, it does fall out. But that's a leather holster. They don't have retention in it. And one thing I like about Kydex holsters, usually over leather holsters, is that I like to have the trigger guard snap into place so that I always have a little bit of real estate here underneath the trigger guard around the grip so I can get my hands in there and draw the pistol. With leather holsters, it's a little bit more complicated and difficult because you want that seated in there pretty good. Now, this might not be the best holster, but it should get you by. Like for example, if you're mowing grass and you wanna grab a quick holster to put in your belt or something like that, or if you're wearing maybe athletic shorts, for example, we're gonna test it with that and see how it holds up. So I have the gun in here and I always carry appendix and we're gonna try to put that in there safely. And I carry about right there in that position. Concealability, this is just a normal medium shirt. I usually wear mediums. And with my Kydex holster, I've got things a little bit more balanced and a magazine over here and a wing over here that presses the grip against my body. With a leather holster, you don't get that, but it does still feel pretty snug and it feels comfortable, you know? So if I squat down or move around, I do notice it's there obviously, cause I'm always conscious of that, but it does feel comfortable. It's lightweight and uh, it doesn't feel like it's snagging on anything. Let's try it without my undershirt on just to kind of see how it feels. And uh, yeah, I don't know if uh, that's, that's probably the gun that's gripping up against my side. I have a really aggressive grip. And if we move this around when you're moving, I do feel that leather strap that goes around the holster right here. So that could be a problem over time. I think if they would knock those corners off a little bit or give it a little bit of a rounded edge or chamfer, that would feel probably a lot better. Now this clip did feel really, really good. It is really, really sturdy. I do compliment them on that. It does move a little bit side to side like that, but you know, that would probably be pretty good for comfortability. Now for all of the other yahoos out there that carry in the three o'clock position or four o'clock or whatever. Let's try that out. This might be how I would carry anyway if I'm just carrying this gun by itself, mowing grass, I don't know. But uh, that is pretty tight. By the way, this, uh, this carry belt or EDC belt I have, I do put the buckle off to the side because I carry appendix. When it's here in the middle, it gives a big old bulge out the front and it looks like you're carrying something. So. Um, I don't know how you guys carry like this three o'clock position. It's super tight on my bone, my hip bone, but we'll put this over and see what you think. Um, I think it doesn't print as bad. Let's go a little bit farther, like the four o'clock position. I guess the small of the back. This belt's probably really tight because right now it's kind of 
uncomfortable. It's back there on my hip bone too. And um, wow, I just kind of hurt my finger or whatever, right underneath that metal. So be careful swinging your arm around and grabbing your gun or something because it might cut under your finger. Now that kind of hurt, but yeah, I don't know how you guys even draw your gun from way back here and getting your shirt out, but it's, it's there, it's ready. And then reholstering takes a little bit of effort, but you want that snug in there. I mean, the belt will help you keep that retention. So shouldn't be too worried about it, I guess, for the uh, gun falling out easily if you're just doing something quick, quick ride to the grocery store or gas station or mowing grass or something. But there's that. Let's try this on with some athletic shorts. All right, so I'm back with some athletic shorts here. Soccer shorts, basketball shorts, whatever you want to call them. Let's try and clip this to the front, like I always do with the appendix. The weight of the gun does kind of draw it down a little bit more, and it's not as tight, obviously. And if you pull up and out, at least the shorts don't ride up with it. Let's go ahead and just tie the uh, drawstring a little bit. All right, gun back in holster. Okay. Feels a little bit better once you tighten it a little bit more, so you get a little bit more retention. And concealing it looks pretty good, I would say. Can't really tell that it's there, I don't think, unless the light's hitting it in the right way. Put it on the, the right hip. That actually feels a little bit better. Feels like a little bit more secure, like it's not going to fall off as easy. So I think that's a good spot for something like that on athletic shorts. Put it in the back here a little bit, and that one, jump up up and down a little bit. It does move a little bit there. I would not trust it on my small of the back and four o'clock or so, but three o'clock feels better there. And again, I'm wearing the undershirt because if you are moving around a lot, those sharp edges on the leather, I think are going to be a little bit uncomfortable. So overall, I think the holster is decent, especially for the price. You get what you pay for, you're not going to get the best premium holster out there. This holster is made out of 100% cowhide leather and the leather is three millimeters thick. So, you know, you got some nice, decent thickness there and rigidity, rigidity. And let's go ahead and measure it real quick. I was interested in the measurements here. So from the sweat guard all the way down to the bottom, that one measures seven inches and we'll go from the widest point, that looks to be about four inches. So seven by four inches. And I don't know if you guys care about the width or something like that, but I'm not gonna stretch it out. But in general, you're about an inch and three eighths or inch and a half. And down here, you're about three quarters of an inch. So those are the measurements of the holster. So I think there are a few improvements that RL Soko could do on this holster. But if you're looking for just a quick cheap holster for mowing grass or something quick around the house or going to the grocery store or gas station, maybe that's just only a couple minutes away and you just wanna grab a gun and go. This $20 holster might not be a bad choice. I would recommend trying it out. If you don't like it, you can always return it. Again, the quality more or less, I would give it a you know, seven out of 10. They could knock off these corners and edges a little bit. They could watch out for their stitching a little bit better and their quality control, because once that falls apart, the whole holster is compromised and not going to do what it's supposed to. That's my take on it. If you guys want to check this holster out, there's a link in the Amazon description. And if you like this video and you wanna see more things like this, go ahead and click like and subscribe and give me a comment about that. And we'll see you in the next video.